Hi guys, Hikaru here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the web interface to live view, playback, and save footage on your Hikvision DVR or NVR. So first off, we need our IPv4 address. If you don't know that, simply use Hikvision's SADP tool. The link to that will be down in the description, so that will show you what your IP is. I'm going to type that address into Internet Explorer. I've got that bookmarked, but now you just need to log in using your credentials. So this is the live view screen. Now to get the cameras to load automatically on the screen, the second that you log in, you just need to go to configuration at the top. You then need to go to local in the top left corner. And you can see here it says auto start live view just select yes and then scroll down and click on save it says save succeeded so let's go back to the live view on the top menu so sometimes this will load for some people for others it won't load and that is because of a verification code or encryption key error as it says at the top there and that'll be when you've set up HitConnect you've assigned a encryption key so you need to type that into the web interface. So let's go back to configuration. Back to local. And here where it says encryption key, you need to type in your verification code. And click save. If you've not yet set an encryption key, you're not sure what it is. Simply go to network. Advanced settings. Platform access. And this is where your encryption key is. If you press the closed eye, it'll reveal what it is. I recommend you set it to something a bit more difficult than that. And then just click save, whatever it was. Go back to local, type it in, click save. And then once you go back to your live view, all your cameras should load up automatically. As you can see. So I've got six cameras connected. So it's showing in a 3x3 three three grid. If you want at the bottom here, you've got a selection where you can have four cameras, one camera. So let's try four. And let's try one. So as you can see, the image is quite blurry. That's because it's in substream mode. So that reduces the overall quality of the image. But it might load a lot quicker depending how slow your internet is. If you want to put it into mainstream, you're just going to go next to the camera that's loaded at the moment. Click on the little number 2, and that'll bring up mainstream option. Click on mainstream, and straight away you see the difference. At the bottom here, you can go through the different cameras. As you can see, image quality is terrible. We'll change that to mainstream. Amazing. At the bottom, we've got our zoom, digital zoom function. Click on that and you can scroll with the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. You've got your PCZ controls on the right hand side. Should you have a PCZ camera, you've got your left, right, up, down. Really easy stuff. So now if we want to play back footage, you simply click on the playback button at the top menu. Now on the left hand side, we've got our list of cameras. Let's say we wanted the garden camera, you're going to click on that. And then at the bottom, you've got your calendar, which shows all the dates that have been recorded. They'll have a little blue marker on them. Now I know I've got footage in December as well, but it's not showing on these dates here. So you've got to go back to the December month. Click on that arrow there. And you can see I've got dates there that have also been recorded back in December. So let's say we wanted the 25th. Click on that. Then click on search below. And now, if you just click on the play button here, that'll play the footage from midnight on that day. Again, it's in a 3x3 three three grid. Let's change that to just one camera down here. Makes it a bit bigger for us. We've got our fast forward button here to speed it up to four times. Or you can also slow down the footage, half speed, quarter speed. Let's say you wanted to record a bit of footage here. You can use these scissors right here. If you click on those, they should come up in red. 
but as you can see it says failed to clip and that is because the Internet Explorer has not been run in administrator mode so if you want to save any footage directly to your computer you must enable administrator mode so let's quickly close out of Internet Explorer let's search for Internet Explorer we're going to right click on it run as administrator yes and then type in your IP address again quickly log back in head over to playback at the top again select your camera select your date click on search press play make it bigger you can also type in the specific time that you want here although this is the latest firmware that I'm running with the latest plugin not everyone will have this option you might be on an older firmware if you want to know how to update your firmware simply check out our other video linked above so now that we want to record this footage here we're going to click on the scissors you can see now they've come up in red so that is recording that clip right there so let's say I've just seen somebody jump over my fence they've been lurking in the garden for a minute I'm going to watch the whole entire clip and once you've finished recording click on the scissors icon one more time and that will save the footage as you can see clip succeeded you can click on the view and that will bring you to the file location so this is the clip here it's an mp4, MP4 format windows media player will not be able to play this footage so you need to download a vlc player i'll link that in the description so you need to click on open with vlc media player and straight away it'll play the footage but yeah guys that is pretty much it pretty self-explanatory stuff but if you do need any help whatsoever just drop me a comment drop me an email my email is in the description any help i'll advise you the best that i can but yeah take care guys bye bye